I'll use this list version of the grid for row 5, which contains four images. Row 6, I'll split in half, and then I will nest a grid here to display these logos. Rows 7 and 9 have virtually the same layout, so I'll split those into two uneven columns. And row 8, I will split into five columns. Here's a grid div for row 6. It's split into two equal columns. The first column will just have text. The second column will display that set of six logos. And what I will do is use an unordered list there. You could nest a grid with divs as well. Either one will work. To nest grids, you just add a grid inside a column. Then you can split that grid row into 10 columns as well. So this is my column. I'm inserting a grid row inside that half width column. This grid will be half the width at the small sizes and one third the width at the medium or larger sizes. So it will display three logos across on two rows at medium or large and it will display two logos across with three lines on the smaller sizes. Here we see the split in half. We have this half and then this half. At the large width, this second column is split into thirds and we have the logos broken down into two lines. There's the medium. At the small size, the two main columns start to stack and inside that second column you see the two across with three lines of logos displayed. Rows 7 and 9 have the same structure. They contain two columns. For medium and larger, the left hand column I'm setting to a width of 7 of 10 and the right hand column is set to 3 of 10. For the small size, I'm just splitting those two columns in half. And I can just copy this and paste it in for the last row, row 9, which contains the copyright and the logo. Row 7 text and download button, row 9 copyright and the site logo. That leaves just one row left, the one with five columns. I've set this to use five equal width columns, so you see the sizes of one-fifth for medium and larger. If it's going to stay at one-fifth, I could put the width on the grid element. I wasn't sure if I was going to need to change some of those widths, so I went ahead and applied it to each of the columns. So there you see the five equal width columns. That completes the basic layout for this page. This is a good time to make sure that everything is resizing correctly. You can always fine tune things for different sizes after you add the content, but if you get this outline of the page solid now, it will help avoid problems later on.